So now in this video, we're gonna make a transistor switch circuit. So we've done a number of transistor switch circuits in this series. This is the quick video series. Uh, but this one, we're gonna use a MOSFET transistor. So it's important to know whether it's N channel or P channel. The 2N7000 is N channel. And it's also important to know if it is enhancement mode or depletion mode. So this one is enhancement mode. And technically, it does not conduct until you turn it on. That's why it's enhancement. The signal increases conduction. Now, it kind of looks like a capacitor there because it kind of is a capacitor. It holds the charge on it. And uh, so we'll look at that uh, later. So it's good to have, in this case, a pull down resistor to hold it off when the switch is open. And then you have a direct connection to the positive supply to uh, turn it on. And really no current flows through it. There's just a tiny bit of current movement, but there's really no current flow. There's a little leakage, and like I said, it's like a capacitor. It moves a little bit of current as it charges and discharges. But for the most part, you can just safely say there's no current flow unless you're really rapidly turning it on or off. So again, this is a quick video series. Topics for other videos. So I'm gonna use this schematic symbol, and uh, this is another common schematic symbol for the same and channel enhancement mode MOSFET. So it looks uh, quite a bit different. There's quite a number of different schematic symbols that uh, people use. So hopefully they have the part number on there. So I'm gonna use the 2N7000 and uh, it's in the TO92 package. Like uh, most of the transistors that I use. So it's the 2N7000, left pin is the source, middle pin is the gate, and then right pin is the drain. And uh, they don't always show the letters either for those. So be aware of that. So we'll turn it this way. Now the drain's on top, the gate is in the middle, and the source is below it. And we're gonna zoom in here. And we have the uh, switch here that's gonna connect to the gate. So that's the uh, white jumper. The source is going to this gray jumper that uh, goes to the negative rail. So I'll just move it to uh, the left side of that jumper so it's easy to see where that jumper is right there. And I accidentally put the pin in the same row as that jumper. It probably would work just fine, but that's a little odd. Let's try to uh, straighten them again. There we go. So now, for our load, we're going to have a LED here. That is going to go to the drain on the top right there. And so long lead, the anode is going to go up one row. The short lead, the cathode, is going to go to the same row as the drain right there. And the uh, power supply is on, so the LED may light up right now. We're going to go to the positive rail, and it did. So technically it shouldn't be, but we uh, haven't completely turned it off. And the resistor wire is getting bent out of shape. So there we go. So in any case, the switch is plugged in. The switch is off, though, but the LED is lit. So we're going to take our pull-down resistor. This is uh, very important for this. Whereas with the NPN bipolar junction transistor, you don't need that pull down resistor. In this case, we do. So you can see we got the positive supply there. And when I hit the button, the LED turned on higher. So I'm going to use a uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor. Probably 100 kilo ohm will work perfectly fine. And uh, the Z value doesn't matter. We just need to get that charge off of the gate. And there, now you can see that the LED is off. So we already demonstrated that the gate holds its signal. It doesn't rely on current, really, just the uh, voltage at the gate. So now we're back to having the resistor connected to the uh, bottom of the switch, which also comes right over to that jumper. That's a direct connection all the time. And when we press the button, that connects the uh, positive rail up here, thanks to that jumper, that connects top and bottom. And then we'll have a direct connection to the uh, positive rail from over there. So we've covered that in earlier videos. And so this video, we're using 220 ohms to protect the LED because we're using 5 volts. And I believe you really only want to go up to a maximum of uh, 20 volts, I believe. But in case, I always check the data sheet for all the voltages and the current. This is the uh, quick uh, video series there. And there you can see there's no current until we close the button. And now we got about 15 milliamps of current. So... It's really that simple. These MOSFETs, they make uh, good switches. As long as you have 
the right polarity and uh, everything. You don't have to worry about a base to emitter voltage drop or anything, but I think you may need like uh, two or three volts or something to uh, fully turn it on or off. So again, uh, they're not as straightforward as bipolar junction transistors. And uh, for this video, we're just looking at it as a switch. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos. And uh, click like, subscribe, the bell. Donate to Patreon if you can. That would help out a ton. I will see you in the next video.